Hello there, we are going to learn the Stone Roses. This is the one today. This was a request from Craig Essence, so thanks for that, Craig. What a cracker. All right, now, so this is a song basically of three awesome riffs, okay? Riff one is the intro riff. We're going to learn that now. It goes like this. You're going to play a D. Uh, can you put your first and second fingers there? We've got a capo at the second fret. We're going to go. Okay, so what I did there, instead of playing a D regularly, I mean, you could do that kind of thing. Uh, I just chose to do like that. So we've got two, three, two, open. Now I would go down, up, down, down, up. Down, up. Do you see what I mean? So that way you're always going in the right direction for your next note. Okay. All right. So that's riff one. Okay. Riff two. Two is after there's eight, ba eight bars of bass there, and riff two, you're basically going to play what looks like a C chord, but at uh, the two frets up from where you usually would play it, and you're going to play down, up, 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 and you do that up, up, up three times, four times, right? So you're going to go. Uh, this is basically the fifth fret away from the capo. I'm always talking here, so. Okay, so we've got five, three, zero, four, three, zero, four, three, zero, four, three, zero, zero. And then we're going to play uh, four, two, zero on the D string. Okay, uh, so that whole thing. Okay, the next part is we're going to play an A and we're going to play uh, an, a regular A. So that's 5th string, 3rd, 4th, 5th, then a sus4. A, yeah, and then an A sus2, A sus2. So those two bars are 1, whoops, those two bars are 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. to a G6, looks like a regular G without your little finger. Uh, it's going to go one and two and three and four. So we're going from the sixth string to the second string, third, first, second, third, and then we're going to play an open A. Leave your third finger just here. Then you're going to make a D shape. The chord actually is an A, but we're going to make a D shape. This is much, much easier to play that way. And then a D. And then D sus4. Okay, so that is what we are going to call riff two. Let's do it from the beginning together nice and slow. One and two and three. major, sus4, A, A sus2, then a G6, Here we are in the verse. Now, the verse, the riff in the verse is exactly the same as riff two, except you swerve all this. Right, you just the D chord rings. So you basically get that D, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. But apart from that, it is exactly the same, which is just awesome, right? 
So you've got that. Uh, we're going to call the bit with the missing D at the beginning, riff three. Now, halfway through the verse, it does and then runs into riff two. Now, if you were just playing this by yourself, it's a bit hard to get there. You see what I mean? It's a bit of a jump. So what you could do, and this does not happen on the record, klaxon, insert here. This does not happen on the record, this is just an arrangement, right? But effectively you can play and then you're already in the right place. It doesn't really happen, but like it sounds pretty cool. So it's still a D sus four. We've got five, five, open, three, three. Okay, so that you get that. And then straight into. You only do that one time, right? Doesn't really matter. Okay. Then you're going to run through that whole section and you get to the chorus. And then, this is the one, this is the one. And then basically you get that. And then you play riff three, which is the same as two, except without the. Okay, and then we get to a part where really it's just a kind of massive play out chorus sort of thing. Um, the first time ending, you'll see that on the chart. By the way, if you want the chart, just go to www.simonmorell.com forward slash free hyphen chart and I will send you this. All right. Can't say further than that. Now, uh, then we're going to get that very riff one, except there's a D at the front of it. So you get this. Yeah. So it feels a bit weird, but that's how it goes. You get that. And then it's straight into riff one. And then riff one again. This time you're actually going to hit two G's at the end. And then there's another guitar that plays. If you want to play that part, go for your life. It's basically two, four, five, five, four, five, four, two, zero, two on the D string. And then we have uh, A. Same thing as we had before. And then we go for a repeat back to the beginning of the verse where we play all of that stuff we just played. Now, when we get through to the second time ending, we've got a bar where he basically is. Uh, so you get one and a two and three and a four and a And then he plays this one riff that goes, oh uh, sorry, that goes. Okay, so you're basically going up and down D. Open, two, three, two, open, two, three, open, G. Play that twice. And then we're going to get into a section where the chords are A, A, G, A, D, 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 D. Okay, so effectively you're going to just walk up and down each of these chords. And um, you'll see it written on the chart. Okay, and then a G. D. Okay, and then we've got a D. Then that same thing riff that we had before. So you just need to read that through. So we're going to play that section uh, around twice. And the third time you come to the D that led you into this section, this. Uh, Instead of doing that again, we just go into a G. Play that two bars of that. Then a D. Up and down that. Then up and down an A. And then up and down a D. And then there's a bar of D where... 
And then he plays that D riff. Again. And then it goes back to the beginning of this outro section. So DS, I've got written there on the chart. So you're gonna go back to the sign. Okay, and that is how you play. This is the one by the Stone Roses. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Please do subscribe and click the button for regular notifications of lessons. They happen on Saturdays and Tuesdays. And if you are able to, please support the channel at Patreon. Plans start from as little as $3 a month. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Please do enjoy this great tune. Bye for now.